Salute omnes. This is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. 46 exits, and we are at Bowser's Castle. Let's take this guy down, shall we? Notice it says front door instead of just Bowser's Castle. There is a back door, as we'll find out later. Now, basically the way Bowser's Castle works is you get your choice of four doors. One, two, three, four. I'd recommend door two or three. I usually take three. Two is actually easier, but three contains a power-up, so... These are Mecha Koopas, Sprite A2. Bowser's Castle is the only stage in which they appear, and I just lost that power-up that I gained by going through door 3. Brilliant! And now we have 5, 6, 7, and 8. Here, I'm honestly not really sure what door to take. Just don't take 6, whatever you do. 5 is okay if you can time it right. Do not immediately rush forward, because if you do, that will be very bad. You want to... Yeah, see? You have to time that just right. So it might not be worth it. That's all there is to door 5, but... Yeah. Okay, I'll show off door 2 this time. Even though I don't really get any power-ups in this stage. Just a little net climbing section. I just like to stick to the top here. Let the Podoboos do their thing. Reflecting fireballs. All the Koopas are on the other side of the net so they can't hurt me. So now we get 5, 6, 7, and 8 again. And this time I'll go for door 7. Where we have our old friends the Bowser statues. Watch your step. Switch palace blocks. The flame spitting ones aren't that much of a threat, it's the jumping ones that really get in the way. Notice the section is kinda dark. Kinda like uh, Infinity Maginian's Nightmare Effect in Mega Man X6, only much, much easier. You hit that block, it turns on the light, and we get a ninji. This is the only place where they appear. And Mecha Mecha Koopa's return. Bowser's Castle is the only stage, like I said, that has ninjis and Mecha Koopas. Which is really too bad. But this stage is easy, you know, this part is easy, it's short. And I could I didn't even have to turn the spotlight on, honestly, you can see well enough without it. Right, C6 and C8. C8 is the block, C6 is the spotlight. But look, we're already at the boss. <laughs> you'd think the you'd think Bowser's Castle would be harder than that. That was quite an easy stage, actually. And we have Bowser and his little clown copter, and there he is! <laughs> I'm going to swoop back and forth above you and not really try to hit you. Ha <laughs> Die Mario! ducks into his helicopter, throws out some Mecha Koopas, and those are the only way you can hit him. Also, about this music... Oh, yeah. So we hit him, but the battle is just beginning. The Bowser battle in this game consists of three different parts. Save the princess! But thanks for the mushroom. Each part he gets a little bit harder. The music's a little faster. Here he turns upside down and drops a bowling ball kind of thing. That rolls toward you and you jump over it. Then he drops another one. Notice he's following me. Like he kind of hovers around where I am. And he throws the Mecha Koopas again. Unfortunately, the fact that he follows me also makes him a really easy tar target. Okay, 
way since I didn't kill him already, or didn't get both hits on him the first time, he's gonna drop the bowling balls again. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd always thought that this music really represented the Bowser battle. Like, I'd always thought it was more of a classic Bowser theme, more so than the one in Super Mario Brothers 1 or 3. I mean, sure they came first, but this is, you know, this is the Bowser boss music, in my opinion. Like I said, it, sure it didn't, it came later in the series than Super Mario Brothers 1 and 3, which also had Bowser battles, obviously, and it's certainly not as epic as the Bowser battle music in Yoshi's Island, but... Anyway, kind of bugs. Ooh, now he's getting nasty, even his vehicle is angry at me. The music's even faster. And he's trying to squish me with his clown copter. However, he still doesn't like much doesn't much like being hit in the head with stun mecha koopas. So Case in point. And that's it. Six hits and he's out of there. No! Mario, you may have won this time, but I'll be back! Or not. Mm. Aw, he's blushing, how sweet. Mario's adventure is over. Mario, the princess, Yoshi, and his friends are going to take a vacation. Princess Toadstool actually is a sprite, 7C, if you care to know. And the fireworks are 7A. But yeah, we get to see some nice little fireworks in the background. <laughs> Three. Aww. Heart. It's a heart. And now the credit sequence. With probably my favorite music in the game. Main director, Takashi Tezuka. Map director, Hideki Kano. Hey, since when does Japanese have a Q? Area director, Katsuya Eguchi. And pay attention to the backgrounds. Like, that last one was supposed to represent Valley of Bowser. This is supposed to represent Chocolate Island. Special thanks to Toshihigu Nakago, Toshio Iwawaki, Kazuwaru Morita, Tsushihana, Kanji Katakana, Baby Sakatumi, Watsumata Foyu, Remu, Marissa, Serno, Yukari, Aya, Romelia, Princess Mononoke, Panyo, Kiki, Satsuki, Nasuka, Carol, Rami, Anikiti, Homing757, Gocha, Some Random Cat Girl, My Linguistics Professor, and a bunch of other Japanese people. It's the credit sequence. What can I say? There's a vanilla dome background. And I guess that's Donut Plains. <laughs> Dave Brooks. Like, one non-Japanese name in the entire list. And here's the last background. But our little show here is not over yet. We're back at Yoshi's house, but now there's a party going on with Yoshi and the seven eggs. And now we get to see them hatch to a bunch of cute baby Yoshis. Thank you. You're welcome. And we get a little slideshow of all the enemies, or most of the enemies in the game. Parabomb, Paragoomba, Fish and Lakitu, Lakitu, Spiny, Babam, Wiggler. You can read. Hammer Brother, Super Koopa, Jump to Piranha Plant, They Spelled Piranha Wrong, Volcano Lotus, Charge and Chuck, Sumo Brother, Monty Mole, Pokey, Bullet Bill, and we have another version of the music, Rex, Mega Mole, Bonsai Bill, 
who might I add never appeared in the same stages together, even though they do use the same sprite tile set. Dino Rhino Dino Torch and Koopas. Spike Top, Swoopers, Buzzy Beetle, and Blarg. If you don't remember Blarg, he was the guy who came out of the lava in Vanilla Dome 3. Blurps, Parky Puffer, Urchin, Rip Van Fish, Torpedo Ted. Torpedo Ted is an enemy we have not seen yet because he is in, only in one stage and that stage is not along the main route. You'll see him eventually. Boo Buddies, Fish and Boo, the Big Boo, Eeries. Apparently, Boo, the Boo in Japan is called Teresa. Dry Bones, Little Sparky, Bony Beetle, Hothead, Thwomp, Flimp. Wimpy Little Flimp. Fallen Chain, Grinder, Fishbone, who also did not appear in the same stage together. And since Fishbone and Bones don't have to have water to swim, I wouldn't recommend putting them in there like that. Resnor, who apparently were named after... I'll explain it later. Mecha Koopas. This is the last slide, and they forgot several enemies, like Ninjis, Magic Koopa, a couple other things. And we get all the Koopa Kids. The end. And the game stops here. You can't do anything after that. Don't worry, though. Although this is the end of this LP, there's still lots of content I haven't shown off yet, such as Worlds 8 and 9, the Star World, and the Special World. There are also plenty of secret exits to be had. So, see you next time!